Hello there, this is David at Winco and this is going to be a really quick and down and dirty tutorial on making a SSCC serial shipping container code. Um, here is one and it's made up of a number of um, elements. This is called the application identifier which is 00 for an SSCC. Um, this is the extension character and I'm going to leave it at 0 in this case. It could be anything from 0 through 9. Then the next section is the company's um, GS1 company identifier which is the first part of the UPC codes that they use and finally an incrementing serial number okay and the last digit of all is a check digit that's automatically calculated by the software so what I'm going to do is delete this and we'll start again so I'm making a barcode so I click on the barcode icon and just bring it somewhere onto my label and I can right click on here select properties and I get into the properties for the barcode. First I go into the first tab which is the barcode tab and I'm going to choose in my list of all the barcodes um, GS1128. So I've chosen my barcode I'm not going to worry about the sizes and things like that and you can do that yourselves to suit the, the label that you're doing but what's important is to click on this um, GS1 application identifier via data source wizard which is hard to say but is actually quite useful. Um, click on next here and I can choose what my barcode is going to be. Very conveniently the very first one is SSCC18 which is what we're looking to do. So I click on next and I'm going to put in a separate data source for each component. If I had just the um, information in just one string I could choose this one but we're going to do them separately and we're going to start off with um, the extension digit. It's going to be screen data, not coming from database or anything. And I'm going to leave it at zero, which is the most common. But as I say, it doesn't need to be, so you need to check with your, with your customer. And I click on next. Um, it's not going to change, so I don't need to prompt it at print time. So I just click on next again. So I'm done with that part. And then I come with next item is the GS1 company profile. Um, again, this is going to be screen data, since this is going to be a label for just one customer. And I just put in my numbers into here, what, whatever it happens to be. And these are va a variable length normally, so we're putting our numbers there. Um, again, I don't need to be prompted at print time, but I could set this up to do that if I wanted. I click on next, and that part's done. And then the remaining part is the serial number. My serial number could come from a database, it could be simple screen data, which is what I'm going to use. And I'm going to start at 1. Um, if you're doing these for someone where multiple suppliers might be using the same GS1 company identifier, you'll obviously need to find out what starting number to use. I'm going to start at 1001. I click on next. Um, I don't want to be prompted at print time, although it could be quite useful to be prompted for the first number. I click on to... Um, the next button and I'm going to automatically increment this by one for each label that I print. I click on next and um, here's the information, the uh, application identifier code, the extension digit, the GS1 company prefix and the serial number. I click on OK and I'm done. Here's my SSCC. And just to show that it works and there's no um, tricks up my sleeve, what I'm going to do is print a bunch of labels, or preview a bunch of labels in this case, and 20 of them. I click on preview, and da -da -da, you'll see that my labels are starting off with um, serial number 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. And the final check digit is changing appropriately. And as I say, that's calculated automatically by the software. So I hope that helps, and um, let me know if there's anything else Winco can do for you. Thanks.